how these satisfying smoothies changed my life. When I was about 14 years old, I started to become sick quite often. Every month I wouldn't be feeling well and couldn't attend school for about a week. This continued for a few years until at one point I was sick for months. I visited basically every hospital in the country to find out what was happening to me. I spent days and days at a time just lying in bed, without knowing what was wrong with me, until finally they found out that I had a virus in my duodenum. I most likely picked it up in South Africa when I went there as a kid a few years earlier. I received medication and after a few months I started to feel much better. After all those years I was now finally a healthy kid again. However, I still didn't feel that way. I was insecure about my body's capabilities and was afraid to become sick again. So for that reason I started to focus on actually living a healthy lifestyle as well. I started to eat healthy foods, I started to work out more and started following healthy food influences on social media as well. But I struggled quite a bit with this. Because especially as a teenager, eating McDonald's or KFC is much more appealing than eating a boring salad. So maintaining that healthy lifestyle proved pretty difficult. Until I kept seeing more and more people on Instagram that were sharing recipes for smoothie bowls. That looked so much better compared to those boring salads. I tried that out and that made healthy food so much more fun. In that time I also went to Bali for the first time, where there were a lot of coffee shops selling the prettiest and most colorful smoothie bowls I had ever seen. That inspired me to start my own business. I started selling 100% natural food coloring. Powders made from fruit or plants that you can use to color your foods. While it was a lot of fun doing that, I wasn't selling that much at first. I had to work hard every day without any rewards. After like one or two years, I started to gain some momentum. Both consumers and businesses started to use my products. At one point, I decided the best way to grow my business was through organic social media posts. So I bought a $500 blender of Vitamix and started recording videos of me adding my powders to thick smoothies made from frozen fruits. I uploaded my first video to TikTok with high expectations, but it got about like 5 views. I decided to give it one more try, and when I woke up the next morning, the video had 7.5 million views. The video I uploaded after that had more than 30 million views, and from that moment on, my social media accounts really started to explode. Now, about 2 years later, I've gained more than 1.5 million followers almost 2 billion views and social media is now really my main business model. I still sell my powders as a side hustle, but 99% of my focus is on growing my social media channels and sharing my fun and colorful smoothies with the world. So the main takeaway of my story is that in life, bad things can happen to you. In my case, that was the illness I contracted when I was a kid. But through hard work, passion and following your dreams, those bad times can fuel you to reach goals you would have never imagined. I'm now super grateful for my illness because without it I wouldn't be the man that I am today.